Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're back. We're scanning for activity. Nothing happened. We got new research. Yay for the alloy cannon. Nice. I'm assuming this is probably my heavy range. <laughs> Devastating. Anything caught in range. Okay, so I have no idea what quite gun that is, because you don't get the things right, but we will instead interrogate a heavy floater. I think in a couple of days we'll get a cancel mission with a huge chunk of cash. Yeah, you're pretty unhappy. Punching, purple smoke, scratching, flashing light of doom. Faster one day on you, that's nice and shiny. Yes, cancel report. Let's scan for activity. Fair enough. Research credit earned for better flight. Hmm, nice. Looks like we're doing the. We've certainly mission. had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject. I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. Hmm, no good will come from that. Let's get our cancer report. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with August 2015. Scientists, things, huge junk of cash. Remember, we will be, be watching. watching. Yep, thank you very much. We are heading for engineering. We are building facilities. First up, we need an Illyrium generator. Yes. Can't build anything else until that's built. Fine. We will go to build by items. We will get ourselves a suit of Archangel armor. Yes, please. Done. Going over here, we will be having a look at some of the other bits and pieces we've recently got hold of. So, scatter the plasma pistol, the alloy cannon. The machine shard, the alien alloy. Anything called in range, so I think that's a shotgun. Think that's a heavy gun? Well, I'm gonna have at least one of each. Oh, just before we do that. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I was gonna have the barracks and the officer training school. Because there's a whole set here. Iron Will. That's panicking. Less likely to die. Not too worried about that one. But yes, I would very much appreciate it if people didn't, people came in at a slightly better rank. Does that mean that everyone's now been promoted to squaddy? Yes, they all have. So now I know what all these guys are. Okay, fair enough. Just go through this to get it all squared away. Cool. Nice. Good to see that little lot ready to go. Head back to engineering, build by items. So we were looking at getting ourselves a heavy plasma rifle. And an alloy cannon. Only used with assault class soldiers. Okay. Um, damn it. I wish I'd read what that one said. Barracks. Few soldiers. Sniper. Loadout. So, that's not for you. Loadout. Alloy cannon. Range medium. Advanced shotgun. Okay, well you've already got the decent plasma rifle we picked up. War dog on the other hand, I'm using that old laser. Have that instead. Whoa, that looks enormous. 
I have a pleasing feeling that, that is going to do a lot of damage. So, let's go grab Casino. And yes, the heavy plasma rifle is for you. So the heavy laser, damage 6, no critical chance, no critical chance, boost medium range. This, damage 9, critical damage 13. Nice. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it's pretty good that we got the Titan armor, because that is an enormous gun. It truly is huge. Right, I'm pretty happy with that a lot. We are scragged all our cash, as we expected to do, but once we've got the credits coming in, let's just quickly go to facilities. If we want a new satellite nexus, it'll cost us $300. Alright, so it looks like, again, France, you will be waiting yet more on that uh, satellite to go over you, but we've got a mission pop coming up, so we'll have to wait and see what that says. Hmm. Okay. I was kind of expecting. Commander to the research labs. Ah, Commander there we go. to the research labs. Hyperwave relay available for construction. Nice. Okay. No research. Slightly research projects. No projects available. Ooh. There was actually. Ghost armor. Very difficult to detect. Oh, interesting. Begin that project. Situation room. Hangar. Barracks. Engineering. Research. Nope. Okay. So I'm guessing, then, facilities, that... Yeah, here's the hyper relay. Okay, so that will be happening next month, or unless I sell all this stuff. Um, as it is, I can't build it anyway, because I don't have the power. So we end up with 175 credits in the interim. 14 days to try and find a way of earning the money. We've got a lot of corpses we can potentially sell, other bits and pieces. But let's, I don't know, scan for activity. There goes the ghost armor. Able for manufacture. Nice. Thank you very much. No research prey available. All right, so it looks like we will be heading on a bit. Contact detected. UFO has landed in the really far north of Canada. Small little scout, so it'll have some unpleasant, de some uh, pretty heavy troops with it. Okay, so I definitely want Lady Grey, War Dog, and Android. I need a support guy. Sort by this? No. Okay, so you are leveled up a fair bit, so let's take our next highest support unit, which is the quiche. Double check your loadout. You have a med kit, you've got the decent armor and a weapon. Good. We would like a heavy. We're going to bring along Casino for his first mission with that enormous new gun. So we've got two new gun three new guns here we're going to be trying out. And as is the rule, we will be bringing along one of our rookies. Um, probably, hmm, salts, supports. Going to be doing a breach and an entry, so I think I will probably want another assault for the up close and unpleasant. So it's a small scout, so the inside of it is not going to be much space. So let's grab another sniper, Galena. You're going to be grabbing yourselves. Ooh, the Archangel armor. Nice. That means I've got someone wearing a Titan suit somewhere. No. 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 Ah, yes. Support, apparently, with a scope. Uh, load out. Uh, scrubbed a lot, please. Sorry, Charles, you're not coming out today. I'm bringing along another sniper. We are bringing along Galena. 
So, Lady Grey. Load out. It can be a powerful feeling moving through the air without a tether. Just keep a close eye on your power levels. This suit isn't meant for long distance travel. Nice. That's going to provide us with a lot of extra options, particularly when we've got this set of extra bits and pieces. Edit units. Load out. Titan armor. Laser. Stick with the pistol. Have a scope. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that little lot. You should be in good condition. Launch that mission. Let's go find out what those aliens are up to in the far, far north of Canada. Really far north. Like, wow. Prepare for deployment, strike one. I mean, to be honest, we probably could leave these bastards to freeze all the way out here. The oh, drop site for this summer. operation will be in Canada. We're going to Reports the deep. indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Sparsely? It's barely half or a quarter of a person per hundred kilometers up that part. And it's Operation Heart Slug. The aliens have melted all the snow when they came in. I'm pretty sure this part of Northern Canada is nowhere near this green. But yeah, we're in the Arctic Circle. Foliage, green foliage. This should be, I mean, at best it's Tayaga. It should be, should be flat tundra. But anyway. This is Big Sky. Let's the find out what these ugly bastards team. want. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. And this is a landing big one. Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Yep. So there's our back. Okay. Go from the back. How far can people move? Reasonable distance. Let's get Casino up. And then move everyone up from based on that. So, toggle flight. Nice. I'm assuming that basically means you can just go really high, really easily. Okay. And it's everyone up and out of the starting blocks into cover, so I'm pretty happy with that. We will do... It's kind of annoying. I wish there was a you know, motion we could get that would let them. I'm just see how much of a bang now I can make. Okay. Just as before, we're seeing a gradual progression in the development of the alien subjects. This heavy armor looks to be near impenetrable. As if the first mutons weren't bad enough. Now they're covering them in armor plating. Those are some pretty big guns. Well, it was a hit. Six. Good shot. I'll take that. You see, that bigger gun would have been nice if you'd hit with it, because it would have done an awful lot more damage. Okay, so we've got one enemy Muton over there. Switch out. Switch out. Alright. Your targets are one, two, and three. Targets are just the disc. You've got no shots. So your shot is the disc, 100%. Your shot is the disc, 100%. Your shot is the disc at 1%. And your shot is him. Okay. So 
25% chance, 8 points of damage, no chance of critical. Don't really want to move you to a new position. So the Newton is the one I am kind of scared of. Alright, so you are. I believe we've got hollow targeting. Shoot first. Nailed him! Drone can go hang. You flush him. No need to hide. Didn't produce a shot. Okay. Don't like that. It's not telling me it's flanked, but I do know there are other ones over there who might cause me a problem. You all got clearly got line of sight. Don't headshot that. Try and headshot it. Nope. Damn it! Hmm. All right, and we want you there. You apparently do have a shot, which means if he does move, can't take the Overwatch. You got forty five percent chance, eight damage. Flushing him. It's going to be interesting. If I flush the bastard, which way is he going to go? Is he going to go to a position where I can get more fire on him, or is he going to go to a position where I'm going to get less fire on him? Let's flush him. Flush him out! I've right, gone back over there. Yeah, no. Overwatch. Overwatch. I expect that disc is going to move. That'll trigger the reaction shots. Which is not what I want. No, so that is not good. Other guy, I get hit with the reaction shots. Particularly if you just now Damn it. missing Enemy the drones. Enemy is still alive. Incoming over here. Incoming over here. Yep, I see him. How much of a mess my team are you going to make? Ugh. Yeah, a lot. Got here. Wow. Ah. Please, you know, stay together. Thank you. Because you know what? It's rocket time. Nice, large amount of damage, right. Ten damage. Flush him out. Shoot the bastard. Shoot the bastard. Or not. Damn it. Is it going really badly? Do I have a grenade? No. Shoot the bastard.
like smoke. <sighs> yep, all your friends are dead. You have no cover. Like the little buzz buzz alien shooting things. <laughs> Only three points of damage, but still, yeah, probably bloody hurt. Oh, and then you're back. Yeah, uh, bloody hell. No, 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 no! Please, no! <laughs> All right. Help! Help! Someone help! <laughs> okay. Heavy resistance indeed. Can I get you closer? Not easily. Not without a running gun. Yes, I want to target him, please. Damn it! Seventy-five percent chance to hit from there. All right, do it. Or not? Come on, guys. Make him run away. Flushing touch. Five points of damage. Toss me some ammo. Then back it up. Advance. Back her off. Annoying little electric thing. Rid of it, would you? See it, hell. Oh, it's been messy. Right. 
You definitely, you have to reload. Let's do this. You have to reload. Back online. You come up to there to give a slight burst of positioning, and then go to Overwatch. You go on to Overwatch. So we're scoring number down. Next to a couple of hits. Right. Okay. I have no idea how much we've got wrath. The fact that I'm seeing very heavily armoured mutons is not pleasing. Come over here. And get some medical love. Easy now, soldier. Right. Actually, no. Stay with this. Good to go. Reload. So, Operation Hot Slug is being a bit messy so far. We double overwatch. And you take the opportunity Reloaded. to reload. Yeah, I know it's supposed to land in there when we tag it. So, what are our movement options? You've not got very far to run. You've not got very far to run. Neither of you, neither of you, neither of you. Okay. Don't necessarily want to do a reveal on that side, so I think we'll be coming around this way. Alright, okay, so we got ourselves out of that mess, not brilliantly, but not a catastrophic screw-up. Would have been nice if we'd been able to keep our second sniper alive, but overall we've taken a bit of a beating, but the enemy are more dead than we are. So I will take that as progress. So obviously there's going to be some kind of command unit inside of the saucer. Let's rearrange our focus so we're looking through the door. And then we'll start to move up to do just that. Alright, so that's going to be our breaching point. The only thing I am exceptionally grateful for is the fact that when we did take casualties and we did suffer a sequence of panics, the panic that we got involved our sniper taking a most excellent shot, getting a near critical hit, and nobody else shooting any allies. Because that happened in the previous mission, I can't remember which one it was, but it's one of the ones where things just went really quite badly when we were doing our rebuild. A lot of kills, and we had everyone, you know, one of our what the hell was that? Someone got killed, someone panicked, and they panicked and killed one of our allies. Um, okay, neither of you two can get very far, however, there is this lump of wood up here. I really don't like having you all clustered together when we've got those bastards with those annoying grenades. But I'm not in a position where I can be picky about my cover. I need to get people moving up. Okay, take that switch. Overwatch, uh, you take the reload. It's killing time. A bit enthusiastic for a medic. Okay. Let's take this a little slow. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. Okay. You lot. Not happy to see you. But Watch option, the flank. They're moving. option number one is presently available. Run away. <laughs> you got shot. You do. You got grenade. No. Oh, apparently because the thing is out. Suppress. Copy that. Well, you know, thanks for taking the war. Yeah, you 
shot the ground right in front of you. Incredible. That alien seems to have taken control of that soldier somehow. All of the advances we've made so far, they would be useless against this type of power. Okay. I don't know what to do about that. I am guessing that I have to kill him. So, gun and death. gun. They are apparently... Oh, they're flanked by him. Okay. I don't know if I'd have the shot from there. Yes, I definitely would have the shot from there. I do know there's a third one. Flush the bastard. Put him in a box! You don't have a shot that I want to take. No. Hunt him down. No, oh, well, lightning reflexes will save you. Here's the other one. Please. Ah, oh, did not want. Did not want. I don't want a hundred percent shot there. I should have used the hotter targeting first. Okay, grenade on him. No. Fine. Shoot and pray. Oh, animation. Got him. That's freed our soldier. Good, good. Okay. You don't have a shot from there, there's no point in being there. Okay. Welcome back to the fold. Come up to here. Give me overwatch because I do know there is a remaining critter. Looks like being stunned took part of your turn. More psychic bullshit. Can't think. More psychic bullshit. Okay, so I know. Right, I'm gonna have to gamble that there is a place where I can. Yes, I can shoot him. Not the friend. 1% chance to hit. Alright, fine. They're Flush it. The Get your ass! Ammo out! This is not going to end very well. I'm going to get one of my squad killed by one of my squad. Oh, okay. Two enemies. 
I just found him. Wonderful. Right. Right. Some damage. It's better than no damage. Drawing grenade. <laughs> successful operation. Oh, that got tense at the end. Okay, so psychic like control is now a thing the enemy have. So I put myself in a situation where if I pump someone forward too far, they can get psychically controlled, and I won't be able to kill the alien bastard who's controlling them. That's something I am particularly looking forward to fighting in the future. The uh, more heavily armoured mutons are, of course, really unpleasant to see, but we've got some corpses, so we might learn something off their armour. Successful. Did lose a soldier, unfortunately. Sad days. KIA. Two missions, two kills. You've earned the nickname Missionary. Okay. Yes, you will have additional medics. And Lady Grey. Plus, I never get stuck with this. Nope. Reduces aim penalty. Hmm. You know, I have the reaction shots. Okay, Muton Elite, Autopsy, Sectoid Commanders, Drone Rex, Bits and Pieces, UFO Power Source. Not too bad. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That mission ended in a reasonable success. Did lose a trooper, so it wasn't brilliant, but I've been the Marmoset. This has been XCOM, and you know. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've got any feedback or advice you'd like to give me. Bye for now.